when you have like a project and like you just open the book or you open something that you've printed and you just put your nose in it honestly you will you will still find me at like magazine stalls like just you know sitting with my, my nose in the magazine because I love the smell of print and I think most people who do print design do um but I think very very close second to that is having and as something that you can hold having something that isn't digital I would hate to think that everything was going to become digital everything was going to you know people were always going to be looking at a magazine on their iPad or on their computer um I think it's almost like pers- like personalization people love putting their name on things I think people also love owning things um and having something that is physical to kind of pull out and say look I, I designed this on something that was digital but it is now physical um sort of thing you know that you can flick through that you can smell that you can put on your bookshelf that you can show your kids whatever when i'm home working on projects i can just dig in the archives of stuff i've just accumulated and be like oh wait maybe um if i want to talk about a specific um printing technique i could just show something to someone be like so this is how it's done um and as well i think through um some clients it's it's great when you can bring examples of what you're talking about and so that's been really really nice and yeah print has just always been the thing digital is good but print remains the thing so i think the paper stock is a really important part of the project because it's it's conceptual as well as the design itself and the visual implementation of everything because the paper in the end defines what you're trying to communicate and who you're communicating to so it's also a really important tool in trying to convey the right message that you're trying to to show you have to understand the print process basically because you need to understand how certain stocks will take ink how they can like you know because like on a cream stock sometimes if you've got a light color that will sink in it'll actually become a lot darker um and I also think you need to understand the company. So recently I just worked with a leather, an East London based leather bag designer and all her cards, we used a uh, sort of like colour plan G.F. Smith paper, but it has a really sort of um, fine, sort of fibrous sort of texture. And the reason I went with that stock was because it mimicked the leather of the bag. A lot of the time when I'm working like with a client specifically, they'll they'll be emailing the um, printer and CCing me in and then it's almost like a three way conversation. So a lot of the time I it's not usually just me individually who is dealing with that budget. You know, the client will always want to kind of know how much you expect something will will cost in print and um then usually I'll create something and I'll say, I'm seeing this being printed with an emboss or, you know, with a gold foil or a deboss, whatever. And I'll say, and that is going to add however much onto the price, but depending on printed as well. So I think, um, I think you need to make sure that your designs can be, you know, your designs can live in print and not have to have a huge amount spent on them as well. Um, so it shouldn't, you shouldn't rely on things like silver foiling or, uh, I don't know, like painted sides to business card. You should rely on your design being the number one sort of like eye sort of pulling aesthetic. And then second to that is the print. Being able to talk very freely with your printers or whoever is involved in the project um, is fantastic because you can just, your printer is also here to give you advices. Um, so you should ask as many questions as you can um, and sometimes they'll be very happy to, if they can't do it for a certain price, um, to sort of help you find something else that could fit the project better. Um, and when it comes to meeting um, your demands of your client, um, your printer is also there to say, no, this can't be done, or this, yes, but... Um, so you, you always have someone on your side. Um, and so that's what I've found really, really good. And as well, sometimes I've had to do things that I hadn't done before. And having great printers that just were happy to spend the time and explain me a little bit more about it and 
talk me through the process and how to prep my files or how um, maybe using a different sort of uh, material is best um, has been really, really good. So definitely rely on them as much as you can.